What's good? What's good? What it? What it? What it do? YouTube. It's your boy TJ with the plug. Coming back at y'all live and direct from the great state of Texas where we chunk up the deuce and we say what it do. Already. Y'all already know. I might start it off. What's up? I might start it off. What it do? But check it out. I want y'all to see where I am. So y'all know it's Tuesday. What does that mean? That means it's Taco Tuesday somewhere. And your boy TJ with the plug, I told y'all we got that series going on right now. The best tacos in Northeast El Paso. But before we do anything, I need y'all to stop what you're doing. I need you to like, share, subscribe to this video. And if you haven't, hit the notification bell so you can get all my new dope videos. There's nobody in EP going, going out their way to give y'all dope, entertaining lifestyle videos of EP lifestyle every day. Check gang. We're here in Northeast El Paso at El Toreados. That's El, to that's El Toreados, or even if you look over here, they actually have it different. They have it Los Toreados. We actually right over here, if y'all see, we right over here on the corner of Marcellus and Dyer. So check it out. If you in EP and you have never been to Los Toreados or El Toreados, you, what I tell y'all, you cheating yourself. I told you, don't cheat yourself, treat yourself. You are definitely missing out on a treat for yourself and for the family. First of all, for, because they have some of the best prices in town. They make everything fresh, everything from scratch, and everything's to order. There's nothing under a heating lamp or anything. And although the series we're doing Taco Tuesday, and I actually just ordered, um, I ordered uh, tacos al pastor, and those are actually uh, pork tacos that are made with, uh, they're actually seasoned with pineapple uh, and uh, chipotle season and things like that. I've had them other places, they've been great. Um, I've never had them here, but I've had several burritos here and things like that I've, um burrito burritos gorditas actually i will tell you they have an for three dollars and 25 cents have a burrito that will keep you feel full all day um we'll come back and do that but you already know as your boy digresses so check game we are over here right now like i said look let me show you. so y'all get a reference look right over here look first cash pawn we got o'reilly's auto parts and um, we got this abandoned uh, little gas station convenience store on the corner. So y'all already know, but just giving y'all landmarks. Because again, I don't want to keep the secrets from y'all. All I'm trying to do is let y'all in on all the dope secrets. So check this out. It's your boy TJ with the plug. We're about to go inside and check out all, um, check out as far as the atmosphere on the inside and everything like that. And hopefully um, we'll, my tacos will be ready. Check this out. Again, it's Taco Tuesday somewhere. Who has the best tacos in Northeast El Paso? We will see. Your boy. So already we got, look, the decor. Look at that. Oh, all this. So look, all the menus are, they have a huge menu. The menus are very, are very readable. Like I said, Look, the cooks are back there, back there making everything fresh. Again, did I tell you that they make everything fresh? <laughs> let's stop, let's pause for the cost. Hey, give your boy Tommy Goggles a shout out. How y'all like these Gucci's? Let's check it out. We got the designs on the inside. Hey, they go with the outfit. Shout out, you know, hell to the Chiefs. Shout out to my to my Native American brothers and sisters, uh, family members as well out here. Check game, but hey. You know, your boy TJ with the plug, you know, I digress. But check this out. Look at the inside decor. I just want y'all to check them out. Check it out. Everything is just nice and quaint. They have, if you look in here, it's locked right now. They have a larger, you got party, they have a party room, or even just, um, they can they can expand the size of, of the, if they need to. But check this out. Y'all already know why we're here. We're we here to see 
who has the best tacos in Northeast El Paso. We want to see how good their tacos are. But I want you guys to also get a, get an idea of the whole atmosphere. Um, this young lady right here was helping me out. She was awesome. She's giving me great customer service so far. When you guys come in here, you guys go ahead, um, go ahead and ask for her as well. So it's your boy TJ with the plug. I need y'all to stick with me right now. Like, share, subscribe to, subscribe to my YouTube channel so y'all get all my dope videos. And right now we're gonna hold tight till we get them tacos. Your boy. Check this out, Plug Nation. So when you come in, when you when you come, when you come to Los Toreados and you order your food, you just don't get that. When you, if you come inside, they give complimentary chips and salsa to all customers. Now, that's that that's that Southwest niceness. That's that, you know, they say um Southern hospital. No, no, no. There's nothing like that Southwest hospitality. Because as soon as you come in, most traditional Mexican restaurants, as soon as you come in, you sit down, they hook you up with a free, a free, uh, a free uh, basket of chips and salsa. So one of the, hey, one of the best ways to find out if we on point with a good Mexican restaurant, uh, you know how your boy is. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a napkin because y'all already know I get messy. I don't even care. So one of the best ways to test a restaurant, um, to see if they're a good Mexican restaurant, we gotta test their chips and salsa. So y'all already know, we about to dig in. First of all, okay, we gotta go in again. So, just starting out. They so starting off with a banger. With a banger. This salsa, as you guys can see, all the ingredients in here. Look at that. This is homemade, roasted, and you can tell it's roasted green chili salsa. So you can tell they roasted green chilies. This is no, this is no paste picante. This is, um, this is no jar salsa. This is actual. Y'all see me? Excuse me. Y'all see me trying to get the stuff off my teeth, <laughs> out my teeth as I talk. But yes, um, this is no. Jar salsa. And what I love, excuse me. <coughs> um, yes, as y'all see me coughing, <coughs> because I'm talking, well, I'm eating salsa, and something went down the wrong pipe. But anyway, yes, this salsa was banging. So we're starting off right now with awesome, what we call it chile out here in the Southwest. You can tell that, that, that it's, if there are most the green chilies in here, and there's that heat, there's a latent heat at the end, and y'all know, your boy TJ with the plug, I love heat. Also, these, again, these aren't bad chips. These are homemade corn tortilla chips. They make these fresh here. You can taste that real corn, that real masa flavor. Um, they have a, a harder texture, a harder crunch. You can't get these in the store. Also, check this out. Yes, they are killing the game. Check this out, Blood Nation. They also bring you a tortilla soup. For those of my folks who are not in the Southwest, who don't know, this is tortilla soup. In other places in the United States, they always talk about chicken, uh, chicken noodle soup. In the Southwest, they say chicken noodle soup for the soul. Whoa. In the Southwest, we have tortilla soup for the soul. Yes, tortilla soup for the soul. So, so if you look, I'm okay, here. Look, again, so, right away, you got the red chili, you got, you got the sauce they make. I can already tell, you can see it's steeped in flavor, has layers and layers of flair. Then you top it off with actual corn tortillas and and the white cheese. Now, I just want y'all to see that. Now, y'all get to see me taste it. Stop playing. I'm, and also, I'm gonna put chile in mine. You check it out, I put some chile in mine as well. This chicken, this, this, sometimes they do chicken tortilla soup. This is just tortilla soup. It is an awesome, a 
a great way to introduce you to all their flavors here at the restaurant as well. So, we haven't even gotten, we haven't even got to the tacos, you guys. This is just, as you walk in, the appetizer. You guys come in, bring your family to Los Poliados. I'm trying to tell you, I haven't even got to the tacos and I'm already just giving them a dope recommendation. I know the tacos are going to be banging. And banging is good. Y'all already know your boy TJ with the plug. Um, we, we come up with our own colloquialism. So yes, already know they're gonna be banging because this chicken tortilla soup is stupid. And stupid was good. It's so good. We don't do that. As a matter of fact, growing up, I didn't even like soup, you guys. I did not start eating soup until I started eating chicken tortilla. I mean tortilla soup. We were chicken tortilla soup in the subway. Senora, me gusta más. Me gusta más. Me gusta más. Aunque no hable inglés, yo. Okay, que rico. It's just ridiculous, you guys. Stop playing. Wait it out. Plug Nation. I need y'all to stick with me. Need y'all to like, share, subscribe. After this, the tacos will be out. I'm gonna go ahead and put y'all on hold so I can knock, so I can finish knocking out this soup. You already know. I will tell y'all to fade, but I don't want y'all to fade. I just want y'all to stay right there, like, share, subscribe, and notification bell. Your boy. That's how you knock out some dope tortilla. I told y'all uh, when y'all came back, we had tacos, but I did not. I did not want y'all to miss out on me knocking out that um, the bottom, the bottom end of that tortilla soup. They are not playing here. Y'all already know. Your boy. Uh, check game plug nation. First of all, y'all can tell I cleaned off my lens. My lens was actually kind of dirty. I apologize. I apologize. Check this out, Plug Nation. I want you, I want to also come back to y'all, give y'all a little info. But those of y'all who are not from El Paso, who are not, who do not live in the Southwest, chips and salsa are like french fries and ketchup anywhere else in the US. In the Southwest, we eat chips and salsa with everything. Chips and salsa, again, it's like, it's like french fries and ketchup. So, I didn't want you guys to miss out just on all that as well. I didn't want you guys to miss out on that information. And again, like I tell you, this is kind of like when you go to somebody's, when you go to a restaurant and they, um, and they, they make the french fries out of fresh potatoes. But y'all can see, they're eating. The spoon got a little spice, you see. Got your boy forehead sweaty. That means you got some heat. But anyway, like I said, um, this is like when you come here and they make fresh tostadas, they make fresh fried tostadas for the chips and salsa. It's like going to a restaurant and they actually cut fresh potatoes um, and you're eating your french fries, actually real potato french fries, not pre-frozen dehydrated french fries or anything like that. So that's what it's like when you come to a restaurant and they actually have real tostada, real fried corn tostadas and then when you, and you can't even compare it to any restaurant unless you go to a gourmet restaurant where they make their own ketchup. No, most restaurants in the U.S. don't make their own ketchup. Well, most restaurants, if they're authentic, if they want to be the top of the top here in the city of El Paso, they got to make their own chile. We call it chile. Uh, where y'all from, y'all probably call it salsa. They got to make their own chile. So right now, Los Toreados, they are killing the game. And you guys notice I am using my inside voice because there are people, there are people here eating and I'm just trying not to, uh, I'm trying to enjoy myself and not disturb anyone else's time. But anyway, it's your boy TJ with the plug. Come on, Plug Nation. I need you to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Share this video with all your friends. Let them know if they come in the EP, they want to know where everything, all the good food, where everything's dope to eat in EP, they got to get with your boy. All right. Look at that, YouTube. These are tacos al pastor. So you got the season, and these are pork, pork tacos for those of my people who like pork. For my Muslims, um, for my Muslims, assalamu alaikum. But check this out.
If you like pork, these are the best pork tacos to have. These are al pastor. They're seasoned. Uh, they're actually seasoned with pineapple and chipotle seasoning. You see, they have the grilled saboyas, the grilled onions. You have you put the fresh cilantro on there. Um, always, they plate. Their plating is very authentic, like you would get when you go to someone's, like one of your homeboys' Mexican mom's house. You got the roasted jalapenos, and yo, you got the baked potato on the side. I mean, I'm gonna eat my baked potato naked. Now, they always also give you, you see they actually top their beans for the, for they top their refried beans with cheese. Now, for those of y'all who know me, I don't eat beans. However, those look good. I won't be dig, I won't be diving into them um, because um, I don't eat beans. And typically, I'll be honest with you, most people who know me, if my food even touches my be beans, I won't eat them. But uh, that won't be the problem. That won't be a problem today. So check game. Let's go ahead and dig in. Y'all already know. Your boy get to talking too much. Check this out. Mm. Mm. Come on. Right away. Right away. You get that slow roasted marinated flavor from the pork. The slow roasted marinated flavor. And you get that sweetness from the grilled onion, the grilled savoya. Then right away to balance it, you get the acid from the cilantro and also they give you a, a fresh lime as well. So also squeeze a lime on top. So you get that acid from that lime and I also, I did, I'm gonna show y'all something. I emptied out my salsa or chile and um, I put my chile in the tacos. This out. Let's go in. It. Let's go in again. I want to break down the tasting for you guys, so you guys knew what I was tasting. These tacos are awesome. Terrico Chico. That's muy sabor. It's very, very good. Check this out, YouTube. You see, these are tacos al pastor. We're at Los Toreados. These tacos, look, this is La Senora. These tacos are banging, and banging is good. Yes. So, I need you guys, if you're in El Paso, Right on the corner of Marcellus and Dyer. Right across, you got the you got the first cast pond, right across from the O'Reilly's oh, um sorry from yeah from the O'Reilly's tires from O'Reilly's Auto Parts. Right across is one of the hidden gems in Northeast El Paso. Look, it's very new. Everything, the food is cooked fresh, and you cannot beat the prices. So does, does your boy TJ with the plug recommend Los Toreados? Yes. Is Los Toreados, are they the best tacos in Northeast El Paso? Well, we shall see. But let me tell you, right now, they are standing up there like a heavyweight contender. And speaking of a heavyweight contender, that's what your boy is going to be if I keep doing these food reviews, but I can't stop eating these tacos. No. Hey. Okay, check this out. This is my last. You already know Plug Nation. That's my last. I want you guys to savor it with me. It's it's always a great occasion when the food comes out. But it's always sad when the food is real good and um, you eat it real fast. That's what happened here. <laughs> These tacos are so darn good, so damn good. I ate them fast as I get out. Look, look, Nation, y'all know if I don't like it, I won't eat it. But if I like it, I can't stop eating it. And this is one of those situations. I can't stop eating it. Even down to the baked potato, they just do everything right. 
and fresh. And you know, I love the heat, so I had to get me a jalapeno. So, termination. This is what you did with the plug. I came, I saw, I've conquered the tacos at Los Toreados. I still haven't conquered talking with my mouth full. And you see, it's authentic here. So, they go get your drink for you and everything. Total, complete customer service. You cannot beat the food, you cannot beat the service, and you cannot beat the prices here at Los Toreados. Like I always say, don't cheat yourself, treat yourself. Your boy. What's good, Plug Nation? Check this. First, you guys already know. I always say check this out. The food, the tacos were awesome, but not just the tacos. Yo, I got to give a shout out to Mr. George. Y'all know I speak Spanglish, and, some, and sometimes my Spanglish or my Spanish, it gets uh, amongst people who have a who are from the interior of Mexico, they don't understand anything I'm saying. So Mr. George had to actually translate for me for the senora. Um, yo, shout out Mr. George and Miss Dina. Miss Dina, uh, they actually subscribe to your boy's channel right there on the spot. Um, they, they signed up. They're going to look at my videos. I, I told them I'll be giving them a shout out in this video. I want to give them a shout out. Shout out to the staff at Los Toreados. Shout out to the Senora. They were awesome. Literally, you guys, you got to You got to come to the corner of Marcellus and Dyer. It is a family atmosphere. They treat you like family here. And again, like I told you guys, that meal was all under 10 dollars all that food i had for one person that was literally enough for two people easily so again y'all already know el toreado but when you're looking in the phone book it is los toreados los toreados los toreados do they have the best tacos in the Northeast. They got some of the damn best tacos in the Northeast. And y'all heard it here from your boy, your boy TJ with the plug. Fay.